Being away from family, you really cherish the small moments. My four-year-old son called me just so that he could read me a bedtime story. My wife is truly a great mother who has raised him to be a very sweet and considerate child. With a smile that melted my heart, he asked if I would like to hear it. Of course I did. He was too far away from the microphone to really tell what he was saying, but it didn't really matter. Well, to be fair to him, he called when I was doing an online exam and I wasn't able to give him my full attention. Wasn't able, or I chose not to. I fear it was the latter. How could I choose not to give this my full attention? In the blink of an eye, he'll be 14, huffing at me as his hormones kick in and tells me to butt out. His love for me is currently unconditional, and those are the times to cherish. He continued on after reading the book about another book he wanted from the local library, The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss, a book that has transcended generations. He was surprised that a fossil like me knew about the book and was excited that we can read it together. It's hard not to feel sentimental about a book I haven't touched since I was like six years old myself. Suddenly, there's nothing in this world that I want more than to get a copy of that old world literature in my hands. Another moment that I will regretfully miss. I miss my son's first steps, as well as my daughter's first steps. I miss my son's first words, as well as my daughter's. <sighs> Money, the root of all evil. Old heads will tell you that it's just what you do. You make sacrifices, such as missing out on, the, on moments like these, to make sure your family can be provided for. They aren't wrong in a way. Money equals time. Time equals freedom. I sometimes daydream, as we all do, I think, about what it would be like to be rich and famous, to have butlers and maids clean the house so that I have more time, to have drivers so that I can sit in the back with my kids, have private planes so that I can take my family on truly spontaneous adventures. Alas, we do what we have to do. It always could be worse. More of a warning than wisdom in all seriousness. With that being said, I am incredibly lucky to have all that I have. My hard work has bore some fruit. Fruit that I wish I could give to all the needy. I will greedily covet it while I can for now. What little I've built can be gone in a blink. You read about it every day. What I'm dealing with is a classic conflict of a boy versus a man. I am far too old to be having this internal battle, but nevertheless, it is there. Who will win, I wonder? Anyway, I don't know why you stopped by, but I am just glad you did. Remember, you are never alone, and the jam today was Burned at Both Ends by With the Punches. Talk to you next time, guys.